And Pete says, is table partitioning actually worth it in real world workloads? Oh, Daniel, thanks for subscribing. Um, actually worth it in work, real world workloads, or is it just a resume driven feature that nobody really needs anymore? So it's only worth it under one, two scenarios. One scenario is called sliding window loads, where you load in an entire partition at a time and you drop an entire partition at a time. Table partitioning can make your loads go faster with less downtime for the end users. The other place that it can be useful is if you want to design different data structures for the different periods of time or the different partitions. Like if you want clustered column store for old parts of the data, and then you want just a heap for the brand new parts of the data or whatever different things you want to do. Technically, that's not table partitioning. Technically, the thing you're looking for there is called partitioned views. But most of the time when people come to me and say that they want table partitioning, what they really want is partitioned views instead. I say most of the time, most of the time when they come to me, it's because they already have partitioning installed and they're uh, configured. And they're like, my queries still suck in terms of performance. And I, we look at the partitioning strategy and I'm like, yeah, you chose the wrong partitioning strategy and it really wouldn't be any faster. You could just do indexes and it would be faster than this. And then they get really pissed off, but hey, 